How to increase download speed on Mac OS Run an internet speed test Go to the speed test website of your choosing and wait for it to calculate your internet speed. Fast internet is considered a speed of 100 megabits per second or higher. Run network diagnostics. Press command and space keys on your keyboard and enter wireless diagnostics in the bar. When the wireless diagnostics window pops up, click on the continue button to start diagnostics. When the network diagnostics is complete and if a problem is found, follow the suggested advice to fix the issue. Check internet speed on all your Macs. If you have more than one Mac, checks the internet connection speed on all of them. If all Macs have the same result, most likely the network might be affected by the number of users connected, the service provider might be experiencing issues, and so on. But if you see that only one Mac is affected, then the problem is probably with the Mac or the router is far away. In this case, try to turn off the Wi-Fi connection, then wait for a few seconds, and turn it back on. Restart your router. Unplug the power cord from your router and wait for a few seconds then, plug it back in. Use an internet cable. Wi-Fi connection is always a bit slower than the internet you get, when you connect Mac directly to router. Clean your Mac from clutter with Combo Cleaner. Download Combo Cleaner from ComboCleaner.com for free. Open it. Then go to Disk Cleaner and click on Start Scan. After the scan is completed, check what you want to delete and click on the Remove button. Then go to the Big Files tab and click on Start Scan. After the scan, select all files you do not need anymore and click on Remove. Then go to the Duplicates tab and start a scan as well. After the scan is complete, choose all duplicate files you do not need and click on Remove to delete them. Then, go to Privacy Scanner. Privacy Scanner, as well as Uninstaller, are premium features that you get upon signing up for a subscription. After you activated your premium membership, start a scan. After the scan, you can choose to remove all browser extensions at once, clear cache, cookies, and more. Then, click on Remove to delete what you selected. Finally, go to Uninstaller, start a scan, and after the scan is finished, uninstall all apps you no longer use and need. Close tabs you do not need. Close tab, you do not necessarily need, and leave only the ones you use at the moment. Remove unnecessary extensions. To remove extensions in Safari, open the Safari browser. In the upper menu, click on Safari and then go to Preferences, in the Preference window, go to the Extensions tab. On the left side, uncheck the box next to the extension you want to remove from the browser. If you want to uninstall the extensions, select the extension on the left sidebar. On the right side of the window, click on the Uninstall button under the extension name. If the extension is part of an application, click on Show in Finder and then delete the application itself. To disable extensions in Google Chrome, Open the Chrome browser. In the Google Chrome window, click on the three dots located in the upper right corner, then select More Tools and go to Extensions. Choose extensions you do not need now and toggle off to disable them. To remove the extension from the Google Chrome browser, click on the Remove button under the extension name. To remove our extensions in Firefox, open the Firefox browser in the Firefox window, click on the three-dash icon located in the upper right corner, then select Add-ons and go to Extensions. Choose extensions you do not need now, and toggle off to disable them. To remove the Firefox browser extension, click on the three dots next to the extension and select the option Remove. Stop video streaming. Close any videos you might be watching on YouTube or movie streaming websites while downloading files. Check if app and software updates are not downloading in the background. To check if software is updating itself in the upper menu, click on the Apple logo. Then go to System Preferences, locate and click on Software Updates. When the update window appears, you will see if your software is updating. To check if apps are updating, open App Store. Then, in the left sidebar, locate the Updates tab and go to it. You will see all apps that might be updating. Secure your Wi-Fi connection. Set a Wi-Fi password, 
so only people with a password can access your network. In the upper menu, click on the Apple logo. Then, go to System Preferences, go to Network Settings. Select your network and click on the Advanced button at the bottom right corner of the window. Then go to the TCP IP tab and find your router IP address. Copy the IP address, open your browser and enter the IP address in the address bar. Then, you will need to log in to access router settings. You will find logins on the router or in your documentation. When you log in, look for Wi-Fi settings and the option to change or set the password. Change your DNS server. In the upper menu, click on the Apple logo. Then, go to System Preferences, go to Network Settings. Select your network and click on the Advanced button at the bottom right corner of the window. Go to the DNS tab. Under DNS Servers at the bottom left corner, click on the plus button and type in the DNS server of your choice. If you do not know which servers to enter, go to our guide on how to speed up download. The link is provided below the video. When you are done, click on OK. Contact your internet service provider. If nothing helps, contact your internet service provider to check what might be the problem. You might need to change the router. Thank you for watching.